hello. Is Tanya home at the moment? I have a message that I need to know that she receives before I can retire for the evening. I believe this to be her home number. Yes? Well, I don't have any other number available to me. Who do I happen to be speaking to at this very moment? Hmm. Shy, are you? That's all right. I'm used to talking so too. I may not sound like it, but I happen to be pretty great at communicating. Or at the very least, saying what needs to be said. It's kind of my job, actually. But you know what they say. Love what you do, and you never work a day in your life. And trust me when I say that I love what I get to do, that I have worked some days. And that work is indeed to talk to strangers like you. But we have been talking for quite a while now. This is the point on the call where we'd usually clear the air. You tell me if you did or did not know a Tanya, or even the Tanya I might be looking for, and we'd both be on our merry ways. But I'm starting to get the sense that we're not strangers anymore. At this point, a real stranger would have hung up the phone. In fact, it's quite a surprise that you picked up to begin with. Rather nosy, dare I say. Maybe even daring, depending on who you may be. Are you about to tell me that you don't have caller ID? <laughs> naughty, naughty. There are a lot of scumbags and sleeves out there just looking for a good listener out there to lend them an ear. And you're just about willing to give it to anyone willing to give you a ring. Though, to be fair, I can't blame them. You're absolutely darling with the air of naivete you carry, just for being willing to listen at all. I mean, who's to say? Am I not the same as them beyond my intentions being nothing but altruistic? Well, it's not like you can prove that they aren't, can you? My business with Tanya is strictly personal, and more importantly, not involving you whatsoever. So, worst case scenario, the blood was never going to be on your hands to begin with. So take the comfort you must wherever you can find it. Some people don't even get that. Some people get less. Some people get worse. I'll admit, I had a job in mind when I picked up this phone. I was sick and tired and real irritated punching in the buttons. And if it had been anyone else on the other line, I'm sure Tanya could wait before I took on a little freelance work. After all, when you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. And when you love being able to quiet your troubled mind, it goes without saying how much you can appreciate someone who doesn't immediately get on your nerves. Even the way you're breathing through the phone, in and out, and in and out. I've never met a person who's figured out how to do that in a manner that's not annoying. Or maybe you're just fascinating enough to get by. Hmm? What do I do as a job? Oh, we lamb, munchkin, strudel. We are but strangers. And although it goes without saying that you have much, much, much more to lose if I happen to look into you, needless to say, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. 
I just have my doubts about you, stranger. <laughs> so, you want my name? So we don't have to be strangers anymore? Are you sure it isn't because you want to send me love on the wire? As if being the black sheep wasn't already hard enough. <laughs> oh, you're so easy to tease like this. I don't even have to say anything. I bet if I were quiet enough on the line, I could practically hear your pulse jumping through your breath from the suspense you'd be in. I don't think I've met anyone easier. I could not imagine anyone more delightful than you. Perhaps our meeting was chance. Was fate. I mean, what are the odds that I, on my way to do something that I've done half a hundred times before, would get it so wrong to meet someone so right? Someone like you. No, not even like you. You. Someone with a breast so pensive and a word never spoken, who despite all that fear, despite all those unanswered questions, despite no end in sight for a call like this, let alone something you can hope could end well for you. Well, I work with odds every day, and every day they're stacked against me, and yet I defy them anyways. Every day is a three-act show where I do what I must and conquer all that dissent. I could have never guessed the odds of us meeting under circumstances like this. For all you know, you could call me Destiny. And we won't be strangers anymore. Tanya has just one less thing left to worry about. Because you're about to meet your...